am so excited to have everyone here. It is just a great day for Balboa Village. I'm gonna bear with me while I have a lot of people to thank, but it's just a great day to see this sign. We all know, how many people know where you are right now? <laughs> you will, visitors to Balboa Peninsula, will, or Balboa Village, will never be lost again. And the good news about the visitors, we are rewarding our visitors and saying thank you to the visitors who come to spend money in our community because it's their parking meter funds, one quarter at a time, that paid for this sign. All 260,000 pennies worth of parking meter revenues. So don't let anyone tell you that their taxpayer dollars built a sign or constructed a sign and not everybody agrees, but we all agree that this is a good use of parking meter revenue. I believe we could all say that. Do we all agree with that? <laughs> so I want to say that this sign, this whole effort, Frank, this sign is part of a larger effort that's been in place long before I served on the council when I was running. The community, residents, and business owners have been dedicated for the last, what, 25 years <laughs> to revitalize the entire Balboa Peninsula and the focus now, since the rest of the peninsula is doing so well, to focus on Balboa Village. So ma many of you know that through the efforts of the Balboa Village Advisory Committee, would you raise your hand? We have Jim Stratton, Gloria Oaks, Grace Dove, Ralph Rodheim, their first president. Anyone else? Marcel? Oh, Craig Smith, Marcel Ford, any, anybody else? It's because of our business and residential leadership that we are standing here today. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have worked so hard to Ralph. This design is the manifestation of Ralph's love and reminding us constantly of the importance of the fun zone in our economic and personal history lives. So Ralph, let's all give a round of applause for Ralph. <laughs> it was Ralph, thank you for that applause, Ralph. Ralph never wavered. He was former head of BVAC and the Merchants Association. And this has been a dream realized to bring recognition, identity, identity, and awareness. Now the staff, public works, community development, working with the community and BVAC to create through the funds, not taxpayer funds, parking funds, uh, community block grants from the federal government on the facade improvement. I don't know how many of you are business owners who've applied for the grants uh, to improve the facades that we're seeing, they're steadily improving. This is all about homegrown, community-based improvement. Thank you to Marcel, thank you to Jim Stratton, and Ralph for investing your time, talent, and treasure in rebuilding our community. And to Public Works, your patience, your leadership, your determination. I went back, I've said this before, I've looked at the Balboa Village Master Plan, I think originally 1999 or 2000, this sign was first surfaced and identified at that time. So this is finally, it does, government works. We just have to be patient and government works. It takes, it, takes, it takes a love of and commitment to keep our community investing in itself and growing. So I want to again thank everybody, the Balboa Village Advisory Committee, the Balboa Village Merchants Association, our residents, our business owners, our staff, public works our traffic department, public works, community development. Who else have I forgotten? <laughs> this was a labor of love and that truly being in Balboa Village, I can say it takes a village to do what you do. So is there a ribbon and a scissors? We're gonna go there right now. All right, so thank you all for all you've done to support our community. We are just at the beginning of a new chapter with Discovery Cube, Balboa Theater, more people know where they are. They're not going to be lost. It's a new day. So thank you all. Seven, six, five.